be looking at America today now even I had hopes high hopes because there was a lot to go through but I'm actually quite shocked at the drivel that is going to be released I wanted to highlight everything coming out in America that's going to make me excited do you know what I come up with 11 and even the 12th one is really pushing it and it's not because I'm excited for the 12th one, it's the fact that they got the cheek to release the motherfucker that I'm saying it. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. So what's out in America coming before Christmas It's going to get me excited? Let's go through it. Now, just to explain my reasoning behind this, there are 507 titles currently listed as being now in America before Christmas. There's some shit in there, I'll tell you. I've said the word fodder before. Yeah, there's lots of fodder in every release list. You know, there's got to be something that some smaller studios will take the risk and get the rights to something and release it. But fucking hell, there's a pile of shit coming out. Now, as I haven't talked about America for a little while, we're going to start, as we always do, let's go for a dirty one. The first stupid one. MILFs versus Zombies. Yeah, they actually moniker this as uh, the un the undead against the brain dead. Yeah, I don't know how many voters you'll get on that one, but um, there's always at least one title which is just so stupid you're thinking, why did they even waste the paper on the cover? But yeah, just shows the US mentality really. Shocked about that one, but it's out the 12th of July if anyone wants to pick up a copy. <sighs> nah, don't think so. And it's from a company calling called Furry Monkey Films. So, what does that tell you? Not a good, not a good start. But we jump into the next one. Now, currently, this woman is in the UK. She's in London at, at like a Comic Con, but it's a Karate Con, as it were. Cynthia Rothrock. If you're watching this video, I want to love you. Oh, amazing woman. But. Undefeatables come into 4K. Now, a lot of people probably haven't heard of this film, but trust me, it's a good one. But the fact that it's being released in 4K as well is quite cool. The only thing I don't like is the price. $44.99. For one single 4K? Helgy, helgy. That's a bit painful. Hitting on the 25th of July, but if you're a real fan of Cynthia, you're going to be getting this. But... I can't justify that kind of money for one film, no matter how good it is. That's a bit, that's a bit of pain. I don't imagine a lot of those are going to shift and it will come down in price, hopefully. But So I wouldn't be day one buyer on something like that. And I don't expect a lot of you will be either. Let me know in the comments down below, even if you recognise that film. Next, a film that um, I actually quite enjoyed when it first came out and was surprised not to see a 4K version. But World War Z is hitting 4K. Um... It's a film I liked. Brad Pitt was okay in it. And there's supposed to be some sequel coming out, but it never happened, did it? Um, $29 on the 25th of July. Not worth that money myself. I remember, I'm being a bit of a tight bastard now. But there are some fans out there that would definitely like it. An obscure one, to some extent. It's not the, the biggest main mainstay film that's around. But... It's one of Mike Myers' funniest, in my opinion. A bit up its own ass in a way, but it's funny. So I Married a Max Murder. He's getting a 4K release in America as well. If you haven't seen this film, give it a chance. Because he pushes it a bit. But it is funny in the end. It's worth sitting through the first 20 minutes, which will annoy you. But other than that, it's a good film. Uh, $26.99 on the 25th of July for that one as well. Is that something you guys will be wanting to pick up? Now, we still haven't got the UK date for this, but I'm, I'm pushing it around maybe first week of September, but that's what I reckon. Probably hit Disney Plus first, but Guardians of the Galaxy 3, they're getting a 4K Steelbook, 4K Blu-ray, 
and a Walmart exclusive Blu-ray art as well. And according to this, it's out 1st of August. Jamming gears. We all know it's an amazing film. That's one you, nobody's going to walk by and not get. Next is Little Nicky. And I have said it before. This has never been on Blu-ray. Highly recommend it. Harvey Cartel's the devil's funny as fuck. His brother, which is Reese Ivins, funny as fuck. Adam Sandler is Little Nicky. It's some genuinely funny shit in this film. It's really good. Glad it's coming, but twenty four ninety nine is a bit painful. But that is hitting on the eighth of August. Let me know if that one you guys are going to be picking up. Um, I've just picked up Hackers from the H and V sale, so. I'm got a copy of it coming, so I'm not going to bother with the 4K. But we do have 4K steelbook for hackers coming from the US, and we have the Best Buy steelbook exclusive for that. For that, and the normal 4K is hitting as well. Uh, will it come out over here? Maybe. I can't. I can't see them pushing the steelbook. I have to see if Zabby drags her ass out and gets that one done. But again, um, the date has just dropped off. It should still hit this year. But just waiting for them to reconfirm the date. So I didn't put one on that one. One that I think is going to look amazing in 4K. Simply because of the artistic style in, and Tim Burton's amazing. Is a Nightmare Before, Before Christmas Collector's Edition is coming out with a 4K print. 22nd of the 8th for $22. I believe that's worth it. Because it, visually it's a very good film anyway. To hack it up to 4K. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that one. One of uh, Johnny Depp's uh, slightly more obscure ones, but still a bloody good film in my opinion. And the Digi Book, if you can get it over here, has the same artwork. Uh, Sleepy Hollow is getting a 4K still book in the US. So, yeah, that's, that's worth looking at because it is a good title. And I do like the artwork on that. Um, Double Trouble is about the... How do I put this? My pubic hair has more brain cells than these two guys. Um, they were always cheesy as fuck back in the 80s and 90s anyway. Barely remembered their lines, but it's the Barbarian Brothers. And um, it's uh, Peter Paul and David Paul. You've got first and last name with both first names, so you can tell they're stupid. Um, it's hitting on the 5th of September. If you're nostalgic like me, you'll know this title and you might want to pick it up. But I really... It would be a push me to want, even want to pick this one up. It is, it is a bit shit. But for the soldier's sake, it might be worth picking up. Um, second to lastly, Natural Born Killers is getting a 4K in the US. So that should be a really good print anyway. Uh, 26th of September, I believe it's coming out. But again, $45. Ooh. Ooh. I can't swallow that one. Swallow a bit on Jay. Nah. That's a good film. But artistically, not worth that price to upgrade a 4K in my opinion. Still worth it if you're a big fan though. And the last one, which disappoints the shit out of me, is The Little Mermaid. I don't want to get into all the political bollocks on this, all the woke shit, but fucking how Ariel was never black. Oh my fucking fucking god get over yourselves for fuck's sake stop turning every character into a black character history is history storytelling is storytelling learn from history and tell a story how it should be told don't tell it like a load of bollocks it just does my nothing but we've got 4k still work you've got 4k and blu-ray coming out hitting on the 19th of september <sighs> probably be their worst performing title this year because it bombed at the box office for very good reasons it's fucking shit when the kids are walking out going Ariel's not black she's white then you know you're fucked up and that's what's been happening stupid decisions by Disney Disney are moaning their profits are getting hit stop being dickheads then how about you release all the stuff that's on Disney Plus in Blu-ray form then it won't get pirated and people will fucking buy it and you'll make money you got you know do you want to make money yes people will still pay for disney plus it has the biggest bloody selection of titles going for less than a ten dollars a month or ten quid it's just stupid people making stupid decisions and people who suffer the fans simple as but 
that's all that there is really in my opinion to look forward to before christmas which has really shocked me um if you can come up with any other titles that i've missed let me know because again this is what excites me but other things will excite other people but i think they've scraped the barrel something rotten with some of the titles which are listed really pushing people's patience on this one let me know your thoughts down below I'll get this video out to you as soon as possible and I'll wait for your comments and hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. Pissed down most of the weekend here, but at least I've got the washing done, eh? Enjoy the rest of your night, guys, and I'll be seeing you 8 a.m. Monday with what's out and what's coming and I believe there's only one slippage. It's not too bad. Talk to you soon. Take care.